Find the inverse Laplace transform function, s plus 1 over s squared times s squared plus 4. Now, what's happening here? We're going to have a function f of t. We're going to take its Laplace transform. It's going to give us back another function in the variable s. Now here, we're given the answer. We're told what the Laplace transform is, but we're not told what f is. So that's what the inverse Laplace transform does for us. It says, if you're given the Laplace transform, I'll tell you what function it came from. All right, so the idea here is, we're gonna take our Laplace transform, go to our list, see if it matches with any functions that we have. In this case, we're not gonna have a match. So that means we'll need to do more work. Okay, the more work we'll need to do is to expand our rational function here in terms of partial fractions. So that's gonna be step one. We'll apply our partial fractions, get an expansion, and then we're gonna to try to take a look at our list again. In that case, we'll get something out of it. So, first step is the partial fractions. So what we're gonna do is, okay, as usual, we'll just take our expression, we're gonna take a look at the denominator, then we'll consider what kind of terms appear in the denominator. So here, I have an s squared, so it's gonna be a linear factor with an exponent, so we'll have to have a term for the s squared and all lower powers. So that'll just be one over s itself. So we'll have an a and a b. Then for the s squared plus four, we we'll have to give it a term of the form cs plus d. We'll clear out the denominator. And then what we're gonna do is, in this case, we only have one zero that we can target. It's gonna be s equals zero. So we'll put that in. Then we're just gonna have to pick numbers, and in this case we'll pick them small enough and it'll be enough that we can work with it. So we'll get four equations and four unknowns and then we can just solve away. Now, the points that I'll use, we'll use s equals one, minus one, and two. So we're gonna get four equations, four unknowns. Right off the bat, we'll hit b equal to one quarter from equation one. And then we're just gonna mill around until we can find the other three. Now, first step I'll do is taking a look at equation two and three. Note if I add those together, what happens? I'm gonna have an expression in terms of b and d. We already know what b is, so I can solve for d. So when I work that out, I get d equal to minus a quarter. Then I can take two and three, and now I'll take the difference. And that's gonna give me an expression in terms of just a and c. And I won't be able to work with that just yet. So we set it off to the side but I will solve for c. So if c equals one minus five a. Then if we go to equation four, we can substitute everything that we already have. So I can sub out for b, for d, and then I can also sub in for c. So that's just working down these steps. So we'll solve for a equal to one quarter, and then subbing back in to our first equation here, we get c equal to minus a quarter. Okay, so this should be old hat, how to solve bunch of equations and a bunch of unknowns. Of course, you go back and check your work. Okay, two ways to do that. Take your four answers here, put them back into these equations, make sure everything checks out. And then you can also take your answers, put them into your partial fraction expansion, and then make sure when you put everything over a common denominator, you get back the thing on the left-hand side. We load our coefficients into our partial fraction expansion. Now we can start looking things up in our table. So we apply our inverse Laplace transform. So that means you go to your list, you go down your right-hand column, see if you can recognize any of these. If you can, then you go to the left-hand column, that's gonna be the function that you use for the original function. So if I take a look, if I have one over S, that's gonna come from one. So the Laplace transform of one is equal to one over S. So we put a one in. Go to the next term. We have one over s squared. Laplace transform of t is equal to one over s squared. So we bring that down. Then we have s over s squared plus four. That's gonna go with cosine of two t. So Laplace transform of cosine of a t is gonna be s over s squared plus a squared. So we'll get a cosine two t. And then for our last one, we won't see this one 
in our list, we have to tweak it a little bit. So if we put a two up in top, change our one fourth to a one eighth, so just multiplying by two over itself. What we're gonna have is, is a over s squared plus a squared, okay, and there a will be equal to two. That's gonna go with sine of two t. So this is gonna be the original function that gives us, when we take the Laplace transform, function s plus one over s squared times s squared plus four. 